Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. So Christmas is coming faster than I had expected and I didn't get around to doing any Christmas card painting yet and I probably won't have a lot of time to do any more but today I did get around to doing this little Christmas card and it took me longer of course than I had planned. I um, drew this little white cat with a red Santa hat on his head and a black background and I just you know I like a black background and uh, the contrast with the white and the red I just thought was really nice. I had difficulties uh, getting the proportion on this cat quite right and you'll see in the end I changed the eyes um, after I had already painted everything I made them a little bit larger. It is hard to see if you get um, if the proportions are right or if everything's correct when you are kind of looking at it from an angle with filming you can't really hang your head over your painting so very well um, but in any case I enjoyed this little painting and if you wanted to do something like this I mean it is a Christmas card so it's nothing that's going to be hang hung in a gallery you could probably just use the stock reference photo and just sketch it uh, just um, traces or trace it onto your paper to save time and it's all about having the fun of painting it then I'm painting in the black, uh, the background black and I'm doing this with watercolor this time. Oftentimes I would use a black India ink because it's permanent and it's very black. <laughs> but here I used watercolor and this isn't actually black watercolor. It is um, from Mission Gold, the in indigo color, which oftentimes will look more blue than this. But this is a very neutral kind of color with a slight blue tint, I guess. But um, I like it more than using the black from my palette. And I've painted in the background and the material the cat is sitting on. I mean, that's basically also black. And now I'm just using a relatively small paintbrush to paint in the nose and the eyes a little bit and just kind of sketch in the little fur marks. Also using the indigo, indigo or for some of it, I also mix blue and um, brown to create a neutral color. What, what's nice about mixing those two colors is that sometimes when they separate you get this nice texture. Um, I didn't have a lot of that here because I didn't use that mixture a ton. In any case it is hard of course to draw a white animal and um, yeah, for obvious reasons <laughs> because it's all white and uh, you will see of course reflections from the surrounding on the animal and you can use those colors to paint it then in this case because the cat was sitting on black material so mostly you have these gray shadows um, yeah so you just kind of paint in the folds and creases and the shadows that you can see on the animal starting to paint in the Santa's hat now and I'm starting off with a very orangey red and then I'm going to layer on top of it with more um, cooler reds that is with um, more pinky reds and you can also see that I have taped down um, my card to my drawing surface that will give me a nice clean border and will stop my card from moving around or buckling if I use too much water. And for the paper I just used a really large sheet of watercolour paper um, and I just cut it down to size. As you can see, I'm using a stronger red now, painting in some of the details on the hat or some of the shadows and creases and folds. And just blending it out a little bit with a damp paintbrush. And I'm just using different shades of red for this. 
and I'm always using more intense color as I layer. When I draw in lines with my paintbrush, sometimes I found them to be a little bit too harsh. Then I would just clean my paintbrush and use the moist paint, moist clean paintbrush to kind of soften those lines a little bit. And as you can see, I painted in the eyes a little too small here. <laughs> I can see it now as I'm watching the video. I couldn't unfortunately see it as I was painting this. And here I've mixed the red with some blue and uh, some of the indigo as well to get it really dark. It's kind of a purple color for the dark shadows in those creases. Painting in the details in the eyes the pupils and here you can see I'm using a micron pen to enlarge in those eyes of cleaning away the paint I added and adding in the pupils again with the micron pen and I'm also adding a few little details here and there with the micron pen to add some definition I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. So take care and bye bye.